Welcome back to Jesse Junction. I'm your host, MC Jesse. And just as I had promised you and as you requested, Mukasema Mnataka Niwalete, this wonderful woman, the top detective, the only woman detective we have in this Kenya, one and only Madam Detective Jane Mugo is on Jesse Junction. Detective, Hi. Karibu sana kanye Jesse Junction. Thank you very much. E Si kujue ni popular hivi. Kwa nini? Si watu wameniambia oh tuletaje mugo, mwambie akuje, mtafute, tulikuona na yeye kwa picha. I appreciate it. Yes. Have you been? All right, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Una, I hope hapa kuna upelelezi. No, 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 no camera <laughs> nothing. It's the two of us. <laughs> Just the two of us. Yes. Na sasa ile nilikwambia ukuje kwenye Jesse Junction. Ulichunguza kipindi? I just want to know. Yeah, like definitely. I, I've been following you. Been one of my fans. Uh -huh. So I knew I was safe and easy to come and meet you. Uh -huh. Yes. So na ukufanya detective wengine kujua mali tunaenda ku record mm -hmm. nini mefijwa au kufanya hizo. No, the only thing I did was to send an advance team to get to know if the security is tight in the building which Where? was all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the only thing that I did. <laughs> Yes. Na sasa ni kuulize detective. Even mm. before you go further to kwenye umetoka and all that. Yes. You know you are very very popular in this country. I'm not aware. You are very popular. Facebook yako ndio hiyo. Watu mm. wako huko Instagram. Yes. And now that you are that popular. Yes. Ina unaweza ngaje kufanya kazi yako ya detective? Uh, basically uh, Jesse, I stopped being an undercover agent. Uh -huh. I stopped doing private investigator but I cannot change my title. Uh -huh. I have mentored and people have trained people who do investigation work. Mine is to meet clients, guide them and issue reports to clients. I basically don't go out. You never see me out investigating on a matter, be it be criminal, be it missive, unless a case that need my attention, a case of interest. That's when you'll see me out, maybe in a police station, or maybe sometimes the media wants someone to address them for my company, but it's in layer cases. I don't do investigation anymore. I have mental people. I have young detectives who are undercover. Nobody knows them. They have never been to any media platform. So talking of you mentoring people, yes. you have ladies that are detectives in your company. Yes, I have. I company. have beautiful, intelligent women. Yes. Wow. Nani wewe ndi unawa train? I do it myself because somebody also mentored me. Uh -huh. Yes. So did you, now that you know, Yes. Now that you know, Yeah. That, uh, now that we know you train people. Yes. And you are a senior detective. Yes. Experienced detective. Yes. He yote mambo ya detective. Yes. Ulitoa wapi. Did you plan uamwe wacha niende shule ni kasome? Yes. Um, how did you become a detective? Uh, to be honest, I never woke up and said I want to be a detective. Mm -hmm. I was born being a leader back mm -hmm. home in Kirinyaga County. Ishogo Division, whereby I remember I was a head girl in Karate Girls, where I was. And at the same time, when I finished my Form 4, I worked in a hardware shop in Embo called Spaku Hardware. And it's when I was working there, I later, joined, I later opened my hardware in a place called Mururi in Ishogo Division. It's the next shopping center near my home area. And there was a lot of insecurity cases around there, whereby there are cases of people smoking bangi, there was this local bring of alcohol a lot of car jacking and all that. And I remember since I was operating a hardware and I kept my business, it is when the members of community approached me, requested me to be the secretary of community. And now it's, I started working with the members of community, the police officer within the area. I remember our, our current DIG was the OSP did that particular time and they did assist me a lot. My then member of parliament, Mother Karo, assisted me a lot. It is when I was working as a security secretary in community policing that senior government officials in Nairobi uh, detecting that I had a gift. One of them is the former director of CID, Mr. Kamau, our red Mishuki, and they called me in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And that is when I remember I was sent to Kabete Police Station. By that time, Mr. Kinoti was the PA to Kamau. I was sent there as an undercover agent. Kinoti, the DCI, yes, the, the current, current DCI. current DCI that time was as a PA to Mr. Kamau. Mm -hmm. And then he was the person who sent me to Kabete Police Station, and I was working with the police officers as an informer. I learned how to drive in Kabete Police Station. I learned a lot of work. And still, when I was there, I wanted to get to understand the law, to understand this work of detective. I remember our former minister sending me to Kimadi, whereby he paid for my first school fees because I didn't have money and I did criminology in Kimadi University. That's Wait how. a minute. How old were you that time? Because yes. I hear you now, umemitu wa kubwa sana. Yes. How old were you that time when you were in Embu working? Yes. Ndi uwanze kukuja kukuja kwa police? 22 years old. I was a small girl. So, 
now that it was in your blood yes. sabu nasikia everything that umefanya is yes. all about being a detective and yes. all that yes uh, just taking you back a little bit in uh, in high school yes ukiwa high school ulikuwa unajipata unapeleleza peleleza watu true true i used to do that i remember actually my ex p who is now married uh -huh. uh, she used to tell me when she came to work for me she told me detective I remember when you were the dorm captain used to tell us to kneel down when we are it, <laughs> not to get for preps. <laughs> and she told me, I want to work with you because it was you telling me to kneel down that made me to be who I am. She's Wait, currently a, a lawyer. A, a student, a kakuja. Yeah, we used to tell them when you are late for preps in karate, that is what my, our head mistress, Mrs. Jaggi, taught us. <laughs> if you are late to attend the preps, kneel down so that tomorrow you are not late. And that's how karate girls are disciplined. Look at the karate girls that I'm talking about, akina mother karua wangongirish. Uh -huh. Akina, our rate uh -huh. We are brought up in being disciplined girls, intelligent girls, and God fearing girls. Karoti girls. Yes, that is where I was. Na umekutana na wengine when you umetoka karoti girls. Wengi sana. Beautiful Sai. girls, intelligent women, I can't even mention uh -huh. others out of the country. Yes. But let me ask you, Kweli Detective. Yes. You, you, you know, when I was in high school, yes. Mwenye alikuwa na kupeleleza, ama tuchunga chunga, prefect, walikuwa na hitu wa cops, wana hitu wa mapolisi. Yes. Wengine walikuwa na utiaji. Sasa ukiambia, your fellow students were kneeled down. Yes. Hawa kuwa naona ni kama huyu ni ule. But even me, when I joined Karot in four months, some other seniors told me to kneel down. The ones who were ahead of me. So I grew up knowing in Karoti when you're ready for preps, you kneel down. <laughs> I, I grew up in Karoti knowing that you must be able, if you're not a Christian union, if you're not at being a Catholic in <laughs> Catholic action, you must be somewhere, you must be a Christian in Karoti. Na your time, uh, Shule, in yes. Karoti Girls. Yes. Hakuna was channel kuna kumbia, uh, Jenny Chunguzie, boyfriend wangu, ako kangaro boys, yes. na nakuanga, siyamini kama, maybe yako nakadem kangaro girls. Hakuna yes. wanyalu kumbia wa Chunguzie. No, the only thing we used to do is when, maybe as some guys from kangaro boys, I hope you're not, uh, maybe somebody somewhere, some people somewhere did it in Kagaro girls, <laughs> from Kirogoya boys, from Kenyaga boys, uh -huh. from these high alliance boys, they could send le the same letters to the same student. Uh -huh. and they could come to me and I could tell them this is how you do the letter back to bust the guys. So uh -huh. that's we did a lot in Karoti. If you are a guy, you never know it's happening in social media, Jesse. You uh -huh. find a guy sending the same message to uh, the to same girl. Girls. The same message, DM, WhatsApp. So uh -huh. I, I was able after form four with uh, one of the ladies that who have grown up with, she's currently a teacher. We did a certain guy trying to play with our mind after form four, <laughs> and we gave him the same date. After that, life never become the same. He's the best man right now, who's so, trying to play with us with my best friend. So you, when you are good, which one, which one was the which is the boys? School ya Kar karoti girls. Uh, it was Kenyaga boys. Kenyaga and boys. And was also there. Uh -huh. That Nasa was near. Yes. Nasasa. Yes. Wait, wait, when you are growing up as a young girl, high school coming on, kablata ukwe sasa, uyu detective tunajua saa hii. Yes. Wale vijana walikuwa na kukatia, katia. Yes. What ulikuwa na wachunguza? Kabisa, kabisa. Eh? They used to fear me a lot actually. But we used to be very good friends. Some of them are still my buddies up to now. <laughs> but I used to, I'll never give a date to you before I know who you are. And again, I was also this type of a girl who is strict, got fear in girl. Uh -huh. If I'm not in church, if I'm not at home, maybe I'm, catch, I'm, I'm fetching firewood somewhere. And again, remember after that, I, I also wanted to become a nun. I went for six huh? months and I trained, but I could not finish. No. Yes. Jesse. You wanted to become a nun? Yes, I needed to. Even Sister, before. I, Sister Jane Mogo? Yes, I am. I was sorry, but I'm still a sister even. Nan was Kato. When you are mini, you are funny. You are funny. You are funny. You are funny. You could be the best nan if I were Mother Teresa. You could be the best nan if I were Mother Teresa. You are nan also sometimes when watu ni wengi kwa kanisa and the priest yuko. And nan pia wanaendaka kusaidia priest kupeana nini? Sacrament. Wewe, I think wewe ungefukuza watu. Hakuna kufukuza. Because if you are doing the right thing, why? Unapea mtu unangalia. Uyu aja kuja confession two weeks. Songa. Kakando. Eh, eh, we. I just, no, no, no. None. I'm that type of a harbour girl from a harbour background. Only that maybe the criminals, the 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 hypocrites, the dishonest fear in Mugo. But I'm one, I think I'm one of the best women you can be around. Why didn't you become a nun? Why? But I went there and then that is, I'm talking about now the senior police officers. 
uh, noticing a torrent in me, and they called me. That's why I came to Nairobi. Also, the detective will yes. lead to her. Yes, I is what continue. made you not become a nun. Yes, and also there are those few things that I was there still. There's something in the community. It's needed to be done. Remember, I was a sector of of uh, Mururi community uh, policing when I was 21 years old. Yes. So there's no way I'm part time. I'm in school. I'm in college. I'm in the seminar. At the same time, I'm being called to do work. So I chose to serve the community because I also need that freedom. Yes. Yes. I could not serve the two masters. Yes. Well, I, di I didn't know you You were almost becoming a nun. I was almost becoming a nun. Actually, there are people who call me Mother Teresa. Like, they nickname yeah. that back at home. Oh, because, uh, and now we can see with the work that you're doing yes. in the community now, na kusaidiata watu wenya wajiwezi, I think, hiyo uh, ndiyo, Mungu maybe alikuwa anataka ufanye. Hiyo ndiyo kukuwa nani. But still Hiya God is happy. Hiyo ni ya kutafuta pesa. Hakuna kutafuta pesa <laughs> ni Jesse. Eh. Sometimes we do this work, we are not paid. We just eh. do good and go our way. It's only God who pays us. Because if it's a lot of payment, I think I'll be one of the richest women in this country. Including work I've done for the government. I've never been paid. But this is my government, so I have to continue working. I don't do it for money. I do it because it, it's from my heart. That is why we have a lot of people opening private security companies. They don't do well because it's not from their heart. It's mm -hmm. not something they love doing. That I'm is why I am where I am today. Yes, they do it for money. But personally, I do it because it's in my blood. It's something I loved since I was a 19-year-old old girl in Karate Girls. And it's now, something. That, that trait of, of uh, becoming... Uh, serving the community, yes. sometimes not being paid as a detective. Yes. When you are being trained, yes. by uh, when you used to work at the police stations and all that, going through your station, yes. I mean your trainings, yes. uh, is it where you also saw that our ah, detective our patangi pesa, yes. ukamua usav tu, yes. ama other detectives make money? Or uh, how was your training? Yes, that time to, to be honest, uh, first of all, when I went to the first, tra the first attachment I went was Kabete, ka ka a police station, I was not trained for anything. I only went to work in Kabete as an undercover agent. You know, mm -hmm. being an informer, you don't need to go for any training. But the training came later. But I noted there's a lot of gap between members of public and the police officers. Sometimes we realize that, yes, our police officers, to be honest, 75% are, are doing very good work, where by 25%, of course, they are the ones who are embarrassing the name of the force. Sometimes they're given a lot of work and maybe there's no facilitation. Mm -hmm. Or there are some cases that maybe there's a case of murder that have been reported to a police station. Somebody's go report a case of a stolen phone. Another go report a case of suicide, another one robbery. So you'd imagine a police station, there's only one large cruiser. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, the one police goes to visit the scene of crime. Who is going to visit the scene of crime? So I feel that also sometimes there's that kind of mistrust between members of public and some police officers where they feel that they give information and then it ended up going to the long hands. So I felt it's good being a private investigator to open up this company called Trimo Security so that I can act as a gap between maybe the police and members of public. When maybe pol um, the police are for them, they're not able to handle the case, I can handle the case and tell them, look here guys, you're looking for this stolen car, my team of investigators have found the car, go here and cover the car or charge the suspect because police cannot be everywhere. Yeah. Yes, and that's even when I also did the training in 2015. I'm the first woman in Africa, together with my government, to train people on how to protect important persons. They are called CPUs. Yeah, they are called they are VIP training, but uh -huh. we call them CPUs, cross protection officers. Mimi ni metoshe hapo. Wewe umetosha kuwa guarded. Wewe umetosha kuwa principal. Principal. Yes, principal is the one who's guarded. Mimi ni Kabisa, I'll give you. Yeah, yeah. You will give me. Umetosha. Mimi. Ni principal. Yes, Jesse. Your boys are not the CP. I need to train them. Yes. How to treat you. Yes. Mtu wa kinilete ashida? No fights. You oh. just be nice to them. But be tough to them. Just like that. Yes. Be strict to them. Be nice to them. Sometimes joke with them. Get to know them. But be tough when necessary. So when you Because you've worked with the government. Talk to me. Have you ever worked on something? A case or... Kazi tu mepewa na serikali fanye, mm -hmm. ukapata ukweli, yes. but it was not followed. Like the government disappointed. You should jipata in your work yes. as a detective. Yes. Government ilikuangusha maali. Yes. Many. We, even you just in the village where you can get. These mm -hmm. things happen daily. I mean, it's, it's, it's all over. Even the, the ones we are working with. Mm -hmm. uh, you had the other day when our CS interior meet. 
uh, Mr. Matiang was called by the parliament and was talking about being frustrated yes. by m maybe some the court, the judiciary, whereby suspects are taken to court and they're released. The next one now you take a suspect to court, they're released on a lesser boat and they come back and they start blagging and committing other crime. The other day you had our president confess these billions of money that is getting lost. If our president has been uh, discouraged, he has been let down by his own people. Why not me as a, and I'm just a junior person in this country. I've heard of cases that have not been followed, but sometimes we leave them and we leave it to God. Mm -hmm. Many of them, but mm -hmm. others have also been followed. So we call it 50-50. We're going to take a short break and then coming back, we're going to be here with Yende Mbali with Detective Jen Mogo at Wambia Mamoza Taekwondo and the big interview <laughs> that she did with BBC. <laughs> eh, black belt. We've got a black belt. Azote, azote. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back <laughs> as we talk about Taekwondo and Jen Mogo on Jesse Junction. Welcome back to Jesse Junction. We're still here with Detective Madam Jane Mogo. Hey, you told me, I mean, the other day I saw your big story on BBC. Yeah. Do you know what it means to be on BBC? I, I took it easy. International media. <laughs> I know. The whole 45 minutes Ukwapo. Jane Mogo. Yeah. How was that experience being on international media? I mean, I was not, ex I mean, I, it's just, I think I felt it normal, but at the same time, it was a bit, uh, because initially I was kept when the BBC really approached me. Actually, mm -hmm. they trailed me for about six months when, when, when I was in the line of duty. Uh -huh. And first of all, when they asked me through an email that I would want to have an interview with me, I didn't agree into that. I had to consult, why, why did you have to choose me? What are you up to? What are you up to? And then they had to send the representative in Kenya, and they told me, no, look here, detective. This is the time we saw your story in news media, 2019. Mm -hmm. And that's at the same time we have been receiving good work that you've done in Kenya and globally. So the BBC wanted like, to tell the world what happens with this uh, work of uh, being a private investigator. And the fact remains people celebrate me for the good work you are doing. And at the same time, I've been posted on, on, a, on, a, on a front page as a criminal by people I was investigating. So the BBC were like, we want to go for this woman. And they were very honest with me because they also went to other countries, but they chose in Africa, they chose to wear my story because they, they also followed up other investigators from different parts of other countries. Did you get uh, referrals yes, I for did your get. work from yes, I did. that story of BBC? Yes, I did. I can International. Confirm. I did that and I'm still getting with gold and maybe more clients are coming. Have you ever gone to work outside the country? Yes, I've been to about eight countries uh, to do investigation and also maybe two countries to take reports to my clients. And I've been happy about it because maybe it was not good work. No client would accept to pay for my ticket or accommodation to take a report. And I've also gone to follow up on cases in different countries. Unaenda, unatoka po unaenda kama UAE, yes. kuchunguza wa Arabu. I've been to Turkey, I've been to Rwanda, I've been to different South Africa. Let's talk of like Turkey. Yes. You know, a case of Turkey, yes. well, let's see where Africa on Yes. Those are people of a different race. Yes. Where would you end up or any detective? Yes. What are you to this uh, Kenyan woman uh, around? Mm. They don't know because sometimes it depend with like who you've gone as who. Like maybe you've gone as a barmaid, you've gone as a tourist. And of course, there are also Kenyan working there. Surprisingly, Kenyans are all over, especially Ukuyu and what work when you work all over <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest where i was working uh -huh. i was following up someone in a hotel it's a big it's a big guy of course i'm not going to mention the name of my client and i stayed in a hotel i could go to the places they are going and i got whatever i wanted and the investigation took me like a whole week and Mimi my client was taki jen yes ni kwa mini kwa taki yes alafu ni metumaniwa wewe yes taki ni wazungu wazungu yes jesus alafu ni ka natembe hivi naangalia nyuma you can Ay, know the wind of anger jen mugo right yeah. Una but they are also Africans. I could even <laughs> go there and get employed as a barmaid for one week. I could employed as a chair for one week. Oh, you. So lazima you change maybe you are, you ah, who you are. Una ingiana na society yuko, yes. so that I don't see you following me. Definitely, and of hey. course I also did. I was also with an <coughs> assistant. So there are times you tell your assistant do this, do this. I'm there to guide them where I need to be. I get in and I succeed. Kwa hivyo basi we ni actor. In a way, I can hey, act. When you act, I come on as a waitress. Yes. Ukwe, ukwe, mtu tu anapita kwa barabara. Yes. Uze mango. Iyo ni acting. When you love your job, you go to any extra mile. Because ah. I love my job. Even you, Jesse, today, you go any extra mile for your 
How many times have I seen you pale kwa chachi lukaribu na anguka na unayapa atupani? <laughs> and you don't even know, you're not pregnant, you know? It's because this is your job, you have to do anything to make guys laugh. Na kuwa na kuonanga. Makitabi. Nime kuwa na maramiki unafama, unafanya hivi, you pretend to be who you are not. <laughs> Just to make, you know, To make sure I achieve. Yeah, you achieve what you want. My objective. Yes. What to pray, what to check it. True, true. Now, the, the story on BBC that... Uh, that happened yeah it went viral yes and people went online yeah. i also went uh, to watch the 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 interview on mm. youtube again also yeah and people are talking the old detective mungo kuna wala walikuwa naongea vizuri kuna wala walikuwa wanasema ah uongo we are not to enjoy they are there <laughs> they are there and doing memes you know so how kuna ile cartoon yes i loved it it made me famous it made me to be who i am it made me strong Mm -hmm. I, I, I gave them job, you know. Yes. Yeah, they're idle people. They are people who have nothing to do in life. So they have to wait for someone like Jane Mogo to appear on an international media house. There are people, maybe even, sorry to say, from our media houses, they have never come to ask me, Jane Mogo, what to do, do for a living. The only thing they have benefited is from my good cases, and they do stories on their front pages or front newsroom using my good work. So I, I, you, you leave those people, you only pick up the positive people like you. Mm -hmm. Now, do, did, did it bring you business? Yes. More business like? Yes, yes. And I don't regret whatever happened. You, you, you don't I love regret it. the, the yes, story? Yes, I love it. They did memes, but the memes turned to be positive to me. They gave me lemon, and I made it in a sweet, sweet lemonade. Do you feel like, y besides just being a detective, you've been, uh, you're into a mission yes. of uh, correcting the society? For example, someone, you'll, you, you, uh, let's take a domestic case. Yeah. You'll go and investigate a domestic case, yes. and you find this person, they tell you, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll make my way straight. And then they actually go maybe, uh, or have they ever gone back and made their way straight? For instance, a domestic case, Meshiko Imonaume, he was somewhere with some girl, yes. confessed, Alafu Mwambie ni Bibi Alintuma and all that. Did, the, did it later on work out like the family disputes in Aisha after your investigation? To be honest, to be honest, Jesse, most of the 90% of the domestic cases I've done, 80% are always sorted damicabri. The only maybe cases that are for domestic have gone to quota 10%. Of course, I will not mention the name of my class, but men and women who hire my investigators to investigate on cheating spouses, they don't end up to court. They are living in the same houses. They are happy. The only thing I ask them, Sometimes the women ask their men, why did you have to do this? Why did you have to have like children from out of wedlock and you didn't tell me, keep telling me the children are mine? Because sometimes human is too error. Akuna ile case nezasema. In fact, two cases. From the cases I've done for domestic, kwatu wameachana. Na yu ni kwachana because maybe somebody has gone back to the same old bad habit. Most of the cases we do investigation, not to break up marriages, but we do investigation to confirm information, to sort the matter. Because sometimes even we have cases whereby women are told by Maybe friends, family members, your husband is cheating. But in the line of investigation, you find out that they are not cheating. Maybe then they are having a business partner. Maybe these guys are stressed back at home. That's why they stay out having a drink with friends. Or even they lodge into maybe long hands. Not cases is brought to me, I confirm somebody is cheating. Rather than I keep encouraging Kenyans, I keep encouraging my clients, you don't have to wait until your husband or your wife is dead so that now you see people coming, this was the father of my children. Mm -hmm. Do it earlier if it's asset, let people divide earlier. Why do you have to hide it? Because if you hide it, at the end of the day, it brings problem to the children and a lot of fight to the family and embarrassment. So it's good to know earlier than waiting to know at the end of the day or when somebody, one of the spouses pass on. Now, Jen, yeah. you've talked of training young people uh, in detective work because yeah. you no longer do it yourself. Yes. Now you have a team around you. Yes. I've, I've met some of them here. <laughs> I know. I've met someone called Cheetah. Yes. Cheetah. Another one, November. Yes. Another one, Scorpion. Yes. Another one, uh, it one. It is Ego. Ego. It is Mike. Akina Mike are not here. Akina Delta. Delta. <laughs> we have snakes. So why, why, why do you give them those names? Yeah. In most of the cases, uh, even when you look at the work in the police, you give them their court consign names. Mm -hmm. We don't need, like, somebody is working to go and shouting at their names. That is to hide the identity. At the same time, some of them even look, when you look at the names, they, they look, at the same time, they, they look, the names look at the character normally act. For example, when it comes to Chui, Chui is the type of an investigator who can get anywhere without being noticed that he is there. Same case applies to, to Scorpion. So it depends with the work you're doing, the department you are in, and at the same time we don't want everyone to know 
maybe the type of names they are, even for protect their security at the same time. Well, I've followed you on social media and I've realized you don't shy away from sharing uh, your family, yes. your sons and what to now on. Yes. Is there any of your children when they are interested into the work of being a detective? Yeah, my last born in is called August. Uh, it's called August. August Kamadi is actually he is already nicknamed a uh, police in their school because he wants to be a cop and under senior detective when he grow up. Is it his real name or it's a code name? August? No, that is his real name, but he also has a code name. But that's <laughs> the real name actually. But he wants to be a detective when he grow up. He loves that work. Okay. Yes, but the first born is in different career. Would Who is silent? Who is silent? You never see him on social media. It's mm -hmm. quite. It's private actually. Would you encourage them to be detectives? I will always allow them to do what they love to do because, like, the firstborn wants to be, he's an IT guy, he, he also wants to be a pilot. You, you know, you can't force a child to have to get into talent they don't love because it's going to, to discourage or it's going to discourage them or mess them up. So, you allow them to do what they love. And now, your children, yeah, uh, how much influence do they have in your life as a detective? Do they? Do you sometimes get afraid that maybe you've gone uh, to investigate a criminal case, a serious one, yeah. and maybe those people are not happy with what you're doing, yeah. and you're posting your children on social media? Yeah. You're never afraid that such people might harm your family? No, no, no. I used to be afraid before. Jesse, to be honest, if you look at social media pages, I was not on social media 2018. I got into social media officially 2019. I used to work an undercover person, but the moment I, w I woke up one morning at night and I found myself in front page of a media house in DCI Twitter, posted by people I was investigating, and people were calling me detective, can you see the nation? I was like, let me get in social media, me and my children we do with the criminals and the people who are posting us when we are there. It's easier to work on a matter when you're inside than outside. And your family, the whole extended family. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there are some that support you. Yeah. And maybe kuna wale wana kuofia maisha yako sana. They do. So how 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 do you relate with your family mm -hmm. and how do they relate with you in the mat uh, when they know you are a detective? Yeah. Na maybe some of them never wanted you maybe to be in detective. Uh, they would have preferred you ungebaki kukua anan. Yes. To be honest, three quarter of my family members support me. But of course, I have those kind of family members. Of course, they are like, they fear for my life. They are not comfortable. I have even others who have told me to leave social media. And I asked them, when I was posted on social media, did you talk about it? If I die today, if I, maybe I was that time, and by then I was saved by police officers I was working with. I was working with some uh, media personality from the citizen in 2019. Could the Kenyans or the world have known what I was doing? So it's better for me to stay there, fight for my name, fight for myself, encourage other people that, even if somebody tried to turn his when him, provided you're doing the right thing, you're working within the law. God will always protect you. Yes, there are those even, maybe I don't, they, they, they even fear talking to me because they're like, hey, your work, maybe you're tapping us. There are those even you see me in family gatherings and they're not comfortable. But I'm talking about three quarter. Quarter percent of them, they are like, they are cowards. But that's my career. I put food on table. That's how I support the poor. That I, I support the, the old. I fight for players and all that, using my career. I'm trying to, to be a businesswoman. I'm trying to do a lot of things, Jesse, but I, I could not make it. So let me get to be a, a fighter. The line because, that you love. Because I love it and I'm comfortable, yes. Now, kwa hii kazi ya detective. Yes. Uh, kuna wale wanachimbiaga wengine uko nani? Kabisa. Huh? Briefcase. Uh -huh. Briefcase. We have briefcase investigators who are not trained. They have no offices. Like you ask someone today, where is your office? They have nowhere you can call an office. We have those guys who are given cases they fail to deliver. And what do you expect when they see me being given big cases, maybe from the government, from institutions, from big companies, big individuals? Of course, they're not bitter with me. So Kuchimbana, and I believe just even the media, it's there. It's all over. But what I know, I, I always ignore them. I don't want to concentrate with haters, even social media. I prefer concentrating with positive people so that we can move forward. Wow. Na yes. sasa kwa hiyo kazi ukiwa uko and yes. when unapeleleza yes. there's some places umevaa kama comes chana flani. And since you started yes. ukiwa a young girl yes. mpaka saa hii yes. you've never encountered a case where by you're investigating this guy mm -hmm. hata we mwenye unaangalia jeni unajiambia kai mm -hmm. nie mm -hmm. this guy looks very nice. Mm -hmm. And then he also finds you very attractive. Mm -hmm. ha, hakuna mali umei 
Peleleza and then the guy falls in love with you. It is not one time. There's even a guy I used, <laughs> to yeah. honestly speaking, <laughs> I don't even want to remember that. There's a guy I went somewhere and I was targeting a picture of a suspect. Uh -huh. The way we sat with you, the guy is, a, is I don't want to mention, it's a public figure. Uh -huh. Those days, yeah? And I told him that I need a picture with you and the suspect were behind. Of course, we were not targeting this guy. We were targeting the suspect. The suspect. So I had to go next to the guy, uh -huh. pretend to have a drink and have a picture to target the guy. Later on, he told me, you're not leaving. You have to stay with me until late in the morning. <laughs> I had to stay. But in the real sense, Nilienda Pare, uh -huh. targeting the picture of someone behind. Uh -huh. Like in Jamal in Catalia. Uh -huh. But you have to be smart, you have need to be intelligent. You'd imagine how many men in these government offices and private offices, Jesse, yes. you come across. Then I'll be not be where I am today. So you have That's to have true. dignity, you have to be a woman of dignity, you have to be a God fearing woman, and you have to have principles. It is the principles that have made me to be who I am. It is the principles that have made me to be able to mentor young girls and young men. Others come and get one I'm kind of I will not be where I am today. And so I'm those things happen, Jesse. I'll never tell you they don't happen. Wana kupenda. Ni kawaida. Unawambia wewe ni kukazi. Uh, Kuwezu kamambia. Unafanya hili, unafanya, unapatia tu date. Kifika pali, unamtafitia makosa. <laughs> <laughs> Anafanya makosa kabla. Unamtafitia. Ah, ah, Sama choki, unamtafitia, unachana tu. But paraiti. <laughs> Sila sana wanairobi, unatufanyi anga hivu. Lakini sasa unajua yeah, makosa. Yeah, nakupenda date before yu 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 ufike. <laughs> Sasha kutafutia makosa. <laughs> Pana lakini eh, sinona. Nilikuwa nome post na Jane Mogo <laughs> eh, eh, kwa Instagram. Don't never talk to me again. Na Nome mtumia to... elfu sita za transport. Um, Umemtumia. <laughs> Kume malipa bed sita huko <laughs> That is why you need to do a background check using my company. Before, to those two girls. <laughs> 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 so that ujia kama kana, um, kame tumwa ama kutaki mazuri. <laughs> we do some background check actually. Ah, that's amazing. And Jane Mogo, I must say, I've, uh, from what I've seen you post yeah. and what you say about yourself and from what we've been talking today, I've just realized that you talk about God a lot. Yes, I do. Religiously, yes. unaongea. Yes. Mungu, 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 hapa na to protect. Yes. You are that religious. I am that. I am that type of a woman if God come down today. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I will fight with my God for, to be honest. What is it that you'd like Kenyans to know about Jane Mugo yes. that they don't know? Maybe they had mistaken you for something. Yeah. Who, who would you like Kenyans to know you for? I mean, what would you like Kenyans to know you for? Yeah. Uh, I think I have so many ish things about myself, but at the same time, do I talk about myself or my work should be talking about myself? Because to be honest, I'm one person, I'm a giver. I'm a great giver. I love Sharing to community, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm actually a director of two children's home in Moja is in Kayore, it's called Baraka. The other one I'm a sponsor in a children's home in Nairobi called Zion. I'm also been, I've been to Kirinyaka County, we have a good faith children's home. I'm also a director of uh, Ruiro Lions Group, we give back to community. I'm also a charity of a group called Wearing Mates. I bring people who are working class, business people, people I've met in the reign of duty, and we visit our parents monthly. I'm a great, great giver. I'm a courageous woman. I love people. I'm an easy, I'm easy to approach. But I also have the other part of me. I'm very bad to criminals. I'm very bad to people who provoke me. I, I respect people, so I equally command respect. I mean, and now with all this that you are, yes. the giving in the community, yes. Uko Kirinyaga, where you come from, yes. you're supporting children's home. Yes. Uh, are, are there people who have uh, mistook, mistaken that for political ambitions or do you have political ambitions for you? To be honest, Jesse, I've never been interested in any political seat. So you've give, never been interested I've in I've never, but I've been approached seat. by people to be told, can you consider Nairobi or Kirinaga County? But I'm still <laughs> not sure because I fight politics to be done. That's okay, appoint you. Appointment is easy. Appointment is easy, Jesse. <laughs> that, that is, yeah, appointment. Yes. But to be honest and come to politics and fight it to be it's vogue, man. Mm. I don't fight it easy. I fight the way politicians behave. They promise Kenyans they don't do this. But personally, I don't want to stack you with Sophia and Debe. And I joined Niki Patuna first day. I was telling someone, I wish Nikalio Kitia Matiang Leo. I can never vote out to Numbani. Who's what one a chaser? People are not working. People are not what they tell people during politics. What Piga Kura want to promise Kel. Uh, they want to promise Kenyans heaven, but they give them hell. So, what would you do if you are CS today? Action. Jane Mugo, yes. CS, Interior. Action, of course, working within the law, 
kila mtu afanye kazi ungeweka Kenya line I can do that I've done it already to uh -huh. some sectors uh -huh. it's only God we've recovered money Jesse on behalf of my country stolen money billions and I've not been paid by my government and I'm still there because this is my government where do I leave Kenya ni ending Jesse this is our country and I've also benefited from my government so to be honest, I will do a nice and Russia some of the department. <laughs> You'd imagine like you go to a police station, you realize that there are a suspect, a criminal reported for 17 cases of obtaining money by false pretense. Mm. You think that OCS in that police station and Yakua Mukali ama DCI would have people like having 17 cases. But they are doing it because kuna police officers kuna wakubwa no entertain. Well else I still appreciate the good police officers, Jesse. 75% of the police I've worked with are very good. At Kosangi, 25% who are wana subon and you wana damage the good name of the NPS. Unajua unakaa serious ukiongea hizi. Not na so. nikienda kwa kwa Facebook <laughs> niko nitakuona hapo umekatika. Once in a while. Ume no relax. So what do you relax. like doing sa ile ume relax? Uh, I'm a good I'm a great swimmer. Jesse, I have a small pool at home. I swim when I'm bored with my children. Uh -huh. I take my dog for a walk. I have a few dogs. When once in a while, <laughs> with so my no, I make drastic decisions. I, I make drastic decisions in water. When I'm <laughs> in the water, I can make any decision. Instead, any decision in water. Una ingia kwa maji ndi una fikiria. Una ingia to unakaa poju metulia. You know water is cool. It's bright. <laughs> yeah, it's bright. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Na imagine. Hmm? You saw those my pee and someone else when I'm peleka out and i ah, you know, I jumped so many things when I was growing up. Uh -huh. They tell me let's go for the leader kidogo. Uh -huh. of course not in the in any club. I do it in the house. Una dance to kwanyumba. Yes, nyumba, but not not in the house. Not I mean not in club. Uli samia taekwondo happy. <laughs> Why are you asking me that? We're talking about funny taikun. First of all, see the teacher. We saw happy taikun. Taikun, I did it in Dika actually, uh -huh. and I also have a private a private trainer who is also in the police. A private trainer is is in the GSU, and not even mentioning my ex is been in the force. My red ex has been in the force. Uh -huh. So you'd imagine what we've grown up with with him for all those years to make an eye. Fighting. Fighting and getting to know all these things. With your taekwondo, you have a black belt. I have a black belt at home. Skumoza kuza kwa ngu jesi to pigane uva a uniform. That, but that one for the BBC actually was on a, on a lighter note. Uh -huh. I'm sure so many guys didn't understand it. Yes. The, the, the BBC editor, the BBC representatives told me, people say you're very stony woman, you're always serious. Kuna ile humor part of you. Yes. And that is how I fell down to show them I also have the part of humor. Oh, ulikuwa tu na jiangusha. Aka kini kuangu. I was like, why were people bitter? I didn't fall in someone's house. It was near my home. Yes. It was on my garden that I fell. I wish ningekuzi nianguka kwa nyumba yako ungekuwa na uchungu. Mili nianguka kama niliumia. It was on a lighter note. Usijali, siwe peke yako. Wa Kenya wanapenda. Sa ile mtu wako juma hali. Sa ile ananguka. Hadi wanafurai yako. I just loved it. Mili check. Hata siku wani meangalia. Surprisingly. I didn't like looked at what is happening on social media. Uh -huh. Actually, I think a day before Jalas called me for an interview. Yes. It's when I can yambia, uli yambia watu na waona, unamonta. And yeah. then I went back to the social media. Yo ni kangali kube ni likomenti na nikaachana na yu maneno nikaenda job. Kube, <laughs> kube ni, ni meza kutred. Kube wangu na wacheki. I was told there's somebody who asked me, is this threading than BBI and Joe Biden? Yes. Sikuwa ni mezua, I was threading than, than BBI. Yeah, <laughs> mi nita kuja siku moja, kuja 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 karate. Hmm? Either unifunze, hmm? ama tupigane tu. Lazima. But hapo, ah, iyo, iyo nita kuja kuja. Lazima, amiru so prani to come to Meru, kuna familia na ito Baimungi nataka tuwasaidie. So nita kuja Meru karibuni. Ah, familia Baimungi. Yes. Hey, Baimungi is a champion. I know. Wa, 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 wa Meru. Meru. And yeah. Kenyans are at lunch. He, he was a general in the Mau Mau. I know. Yes. So yes. Una, uko na, na wao mna umia. Niko na wao tunawasaidia. We, we, we wrote a letter to the president. I'm happy. There was a respond. One of the loans in Meru was named after them. Yeah. And we are hoping it's going to be better. I was talking to the governor the other day, Mr. Kiraito, yes. to help the family because the, the guns, you see, Buduki Transiona Misia Makshari, it is the Baimunga who was making those guns. And you may imagine up to now we are benefiting with the guns and the family are living in a very poor, they are living a miserable life. No, they need I'm help. Baimungi, they need help. Baimungi true. Baimungi yes, family yes. is a family of uh, general yes. that fought for this country, true, that true, fought true. for the independence. I appreciate them. They approached me and we are doing yeah. okay. And they're my good friends, actually. Kabisa. They normally give me. <laughs>
Kabisa basi so we've been having Jane Mugo on Jesse Junction. Jane Mugo detective, I want to thank you so much for coming to Jesse Junction. You're Finally ni me fulfill wish ya wala watu walikuwa wananiambia wanataka ukuje. Yes. And I want to thank you so much kwa sababu ya kukuja kwa Jesse Junction. Yeah, Don't go anywhere Jesse Junction will be right back yeah. after this. Detective Jane Mugo on JC Junction. Upelelezi galo. You know, she's a wonderful woman. Ame tupatia story. And I know you're going to catch that story. Ata kwa YouTube wala mesahao. Now, she reminds me of one great quote that says, He that planted an avocado tree by the roadside, and he that marries a beautiful woman, have the same problem. Thank you for watching Jesse Junction. See you next week. I'm your host, MC Jesse. So far.